Carter is going to be talking about interpreting board game rule books. He's a pro game and beer enthusiast, as witnessed by what's in his hand. And I think that his special superpower is that he can hula hoop for two hours straight. So please welcome Jeff Carter. I definitely cannot do that. Oh, I drank too much. Okay, so let's uh, say it's a hypothetical Friday night and you are nerdy enough to play a board game. I don't think anyone here is. Uh, look at this one. It looks like it's pretty, you know, it looks like eight and up. Yeah, there's, look, there's like some people surfing. That's fine. Yeah, this looks fine. There's like some pieces here. Uh, let's take a look at this. There's a board. You put the board out. You grab the rule book. And it's your job to decipher this nonsense. But it's probably fine, because it says eight and up. Uh, oh my god, what the fuck is this? Oh no. Oh, this is bad. OK, I don't even know what's going on here. Well, this is your job for the next like 10 minutes, to teach some drunken babies how to play this game. <laughs> right off the bat, ignore all of this. Uh, 30 to 45 minutes, those times are bullshit. 100% of the time. All the time. Uh, eight and up, that's a legal liability because there's pieces that can, someone could choke on. <laughs> Set up, uh, yeah, so you're gonna wanna really quickly skim the rule book. Everyone else is like, hey, when are we gonna play the game? And it's been like 14 seconds. So, yep, lay out the board, blah, 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 doesn't matter. Okay, grab a beer, who cares? <laughs> yeah, you're, you're gonna need be, probably need to be drinking a lot to play the game. Because this is pretty boring to teach a game. Trust me. I do this for a living. Uh, so, yeah, the, the actual like advice, don't ever read a rule book verbatim. Um, it's a technical manual written by nerds. And uh, just don't do it. Just try to skim and find information. And here we go. Turn it into layman's terms. Uh, something, something. Important. There we go. There's a bold thing. Look, it's bold. It says important. Read that first. That makes sense. Yeah, you should probably do that. Oh, God, we haven't even set up the board. Uh, as the rule book person interpreter, make everyone else set the game up. That's not your job. Just, like, start delegating. Give the pieces to other people. That's just totally not. And then just keep drinking. Who cares? <laughs> Literally, like, the, everyone else should be doing something. And you should just be like trying to absorb this like absolutely ridiculous like car manual difficult thing. Uh, back to serious. Read the scoring rules like over and over and over again. And like because there's going to be the guy who an hour into a game when you're finished and you're scoring and he loses because he's stupid, he's going to go, you didn't tell me that Island 8 was worth 20 points. That's insane. Uh, oh, God, uh, I'm not even having fun anymore. And you're like, listen, I told you like seven times. That's, that's how you score the game. And I won because I taught you how to play. Uh, while you're setting up the game, and there's like Bob in the corner who's like, I have my pieces, and I'm not going to help anyone else. It's like Carol over here doesn't even know what her pieces are, but I have my pieces. And oh my god, the board's not even set up. So like, return to the diagram of the game and make sure that they're actually doing something. Because they're monkeys and they're drinking and they're dumb. <laughs> Just keep drinking, it's gonna be okay. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a really tough job to teach people how to do something that's like has basic math and basic logic and they have like PhDs and they're like, this is too complicated, I don't know. It says the youngest player starts. Who's the fucking youngest person in the room? Oh my God, I don't even know anymore. Is, is this like an existential crisis where I'm trying to figure out? No, it's just, just the youngest person. If the game book for Sirius has like a second part of like, hey, you've reached this part, 45 minutes into, the, very generous 45 minutes, uh, if you've got to that point, just set the book aside, like, you'll come back to it. You're going to look at this rule book like 18 times and probably drink way more than that amount of beer. I mean, you're going to be like five beers in, and it's, and this, uh, the game said it was for eight and up. <laughs> Jesus, wh who makes these guidelines? These people are stupid. Look at the scoring rules. This, literally, this game I played 
a month ago, and I think it took us five beers to get through. <laughs> Paul and Julia and Sacha? I don't know. And then your beer's gone. And then you haven't even started playing. <laughs> so, but for real, no matter what you do when you teach a game, everyone's going to blame every mistake on you because you taught them the rules. 